Princes William and Harry will walk side, by, side during the Queen's funeral procession, according to reports. The brothers are set to put aside their differences for the second time in a week in order to show their respect to their late grandmother. Monday's funeral procession will see the Queen's coffin transported the short distance from Westminster Hall, where the late monarch has been lying in state, to Westminster Abbey. The brothers have rarely been seen together in public since the Duke of Sussex quit front, line, royal duties in February 2020 and relocated across the Atlantic with his wife Meghan Markle. However, the Daily Mail reports a truce appears to have been reached after the siblings were seen on a walkabout outside Windsor Castle with wives Kate and Meghan. The pair were separated by Princess Anne's son Peter Phillips at the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral last year, but they walked together during Wednesday's procession from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall. The Duke of Sussex is expected to walk between his brother and Mr. Phillips at Monday's funeral procession. The Queen's three oldest grandchildren will walk behind the King, Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward, who will lead the procession of senior royals behind the late monarch's coffin. The Queen's son, in law Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence, her cousin the Duke of Gloucester and her nephew the Earl of Snowdon will be behind the grandchildren. It was confirmed on Thursday that the state funeral will end with a two-minute national silence before the coffin makes its final journey to Windsor, where the Queen will be buried alongside her husband Prince Philip. It is also said to be announced that NHS doctors and nurses will walk in front of the Queen's coffin at her funeral. Buckingham Palace has provided details of what is intended to be a fitting tribute to an extraordinary reign. The plans are said to have been drawn up in line with the late monarch's wishes and will see members of the public join royals, heads of state and other dignitaries in a state funeral designed to unite people across the globe. A series of processions and three services will be held at Westminster Abbey and St. George's Chapel in Windsor. Buckingham Palace hope the events will pay tribute to the Queen as head of state, head of nation and head of family.